once you kind of get the thing established and you have a, a good tonal read, then you can go in there and say, this is a little darker, that's a little lighter, this transitions a little more to here. soften that front edge of the body a little bit. All right, let's go into this. Uh, I think my hand smudged across this, so I gotta clean that up. So be careful of that, you know. Uh, you wanna use a piece of paper to shield your area. And, uh, usually if I'm thinking about it, I, um, you know, start left and move to right a little bit more, which works with my um, being right-handed. So let's get this knee in here. I'm just connecting these shapes a little bit more and kind of overall probably darkening this knee. So just darkening all that down and want to maybe go put a gradient along there just because this comes in and then it comes out again and then same thing on the foot down here it's just a gradient all along that essentially side plane You might need to darken the shadow again to make sure that that contrast stays there. And sometimes I do come in here and pull out little highlights. And I'll probably go a little too light, but it just helps to give you know a little bit of a punch on that area and you, know, you might be able to leave that or we come in later and tone that back slightly but
sometimes when it's a little blotchy like that, because uh, my hand has been rubbing over it and stuff, I just smooth it out like that first. Uh, and then, you know, just erase out where I want to, because sometimes those little blotchy things, they don't go away. So you have to, you know, build with big organized shapes and don't make too many um, variations within there. Like I did put some in here, which I wanted, but I probably don't want here in the light. I would, I'm fine with it in that area as it kind of goes into the half tone, and I might even just deliberately, you know, do some stuff like that just to add a little texture. And you can knock it back a little bit, but that's fine. But if there's a lot of blotchiness there, I would say that needs to be a smoother area. Um, some of these are just my personal opinions, though, so... But like even if you're just glazing over you know, an area with, and it has a lot of little lines across it, and then you want those to be as even, or fairly even. You know, there's always a, a balance between maybe a direction of your line and using that and having you know, just a, an even tone there and you want to find a, a nice balance. And um, yeah, you, again, you, you kind of have to do it by case by case basis and see if it just um, stands out too much or it's distracting. My general rule though is first make it smooth and then later you can add more texture to it. But you don't want to try to build texture on top of texture because that just gets busy. So there's a little highlight that's coming down here. And even a little bit on the but right through there, and we get this just a little darker. So as I'm kind of doing that, um, I would say the first part that touches down is a little softer up here, and then where it stops, it's a little bit harder. So it kind of gives me that soft to hard relationship. So you want to be aware of your pencil and what's going on with that. So sometimes I'll deliberately start at the bottom and you know kind of go up like that and it'll just splinter out and give me a, a softer edge as I go out up into the, those areas. But depending on how I'm using the pencil, it it, uh, it changes a little bit. So just something to experiment with and kind of come up with some just different ways of making marks. And then use that when it's necessary. come in and you know accent some of those little shapes and it kind of looks like uh, maybe hair or something on there and I just like to kind of give that a little bit of texture or something
that's a good way to get a thin line right like that just laying on the side and it's not going to dull your pencil like doing that and I just build some texture in there and sometimes it's just nice to kind of average those two bumps together into kind of one plane by using that directional line with that and it's still there it's just a little more subtle right so same thing here this just stands out a little too much So once I'm kind of got enough in there, I do start to just look at things and say, well, that needs to be lighter compared to that, and that needs to be darker compared to that. But you have to get them in the organized relationships first. Like if you just start with that, there's a good chance you're gonna overdo it. And even now I know that I could overdo it and push things and it'll become too muddy looking or too broken. So and I'm okay with that because then I'll come back and just reel it back in. Um, but I think it's helpful to start early thinking about your organization. This is primarily a, a light halftone area. This is primarily a, a, a darker halftone area. This is more reflected light. This is more of a darker occlusion area within the shadow. You know, thinking in those terms and building and designing your gradients in the picture. And then once you kind of get the thing established and you have a, a good tonal read, then you can go in there and say, this is a little darker, that's a little lighter, this transitions a little more to here, and, and do that. But always being mindful that you can basically just put value everywhere and then you break up those organizations. You know, So you go a little dark here, a little light here, and you just sprinkle light and darks everywhere, and then you know it just it breaks up too much. So you need to, and every now and then, just go back in there and either you know knock some of this back, maybe you could just glaze with your finger and knock back some of these uh, little jumps. It'll you know, darken the lights and lighten the darks a little bit. Or you kind of glaze over with your pencil and do you know the same thing. But that will just tend to uh, darken the lights a little more. And you can even use your eraser and you know go in there and, and lighten areas. So I think that's looking okay. 